In this video, we will share with you some best practices on monitoring environmental conditions and how you can implement those with the Servers Check sensors. It applies not only to data centers, but also to smaller server rooms with just a few racks. Let's talk about ambient monitoring first. Ambient monitoring is monitoring at a room level. This level of monitoring will alert you when air conditioning units start failing. Temperature should be between 18 to 27 degrees Celsius or 64 to 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Only doing ambient temperature monitoring isn't enough though. You could already face an earlier heat issue in your server racks that goes undetected as it is initially being compensated by the aircon. Only when the aircon can't cope anymore will you get alerted. At that point, it may already be too late for your equipment. A server running a few degrees too high will suffer from CPU calculation errors. Those result in application failures. When a server runs too hot, the fans will be stressed. This may result in a failure of the server. A server failing means that your business operations continuity is affected. Therefore, temperature monitoring at a rack level is a must and not an option. ASHRAE recommends a minimum of six temperature sensors per rack. You should already be fine by starting with three sensors per rack. The first sensor is mounted at the bottom front of the rack to verify the temperature of the cool air arriving into the rack. The second sensor is put at the top front of the rack to ensure that sufficient cooling gets to all the equipment. As hot air climbs, the hottest point in your rack will be at the top back. This is where you put the third sensor. The difference between intake and outtake temperature shouldn't exceed more than 20 degrees Celsius or 35 degrees Fahrenheit. With one service check sensor gateway and two external temperature probes, you can monitor one rack. The service check sensor base unit is called the sensor gateway. By default, the sensor gateway is an IP and SNMP based temperature sensor. It can be extended with up to two external sensors. The sensor gateway is either powered through power over ethernet or through a power adapter. It doesn't require a PC to work. Every sensor gateway has a built-in web server. When environmental thresholds are exceeded, then the sensor gateway generates alerts via email. It can even alert you via SMS directly to your cell phone. Humidity in a server room or data center should always be between 40 and 60%. Below 40%, you have static electricity building up, which may result in damaging your server through a static discharge. Above 60%, corrosion slowly starts accumulating in your equipment, which will result in a failure of the systems. Water leaks is another important environmental threat for data centers. The first source of water comes from leaking air conditioning units. A water leakage sensor should be placed under each aircon unit and under the raised floor as water seeks the lowest point. The sensor will trigger an alert whenever water touches the sensor cable. Another source of water comes from traditional floods. To get an early warning on flooding, it is recommended to put water sensors under the raised floor and around the perimeter of the room. The Servers Check sensors can be integrated with any SNMP monitoring tool like Nagios, Tivoli, OpenView, and many others. Check out our website at servercheck.com for more information about our sensors, a live demo, or pricing information.